Libra friends, I hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to be for Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. September 22nd to October 6th, 2019. So, Libra, I want to wish you guys that are celebrating birthdays at the beginning here a very beautiful, blessed, happy birthday. Truly, I really do hope you all have a beautiful, blessed, fabulous day. I'm a September baby. I feel like it's such a great month to, to be born. Libra, just, you know, keep in mind I'm reading for a lot of you. If the reading resonates, awesome. Take what does, leave what doesn't. So definitely watch your other signs. You know, I just can't stress how important it is for you guys to do that. It does give you a much bigger picture of what's going on. They did not flip up, so we will not be looking at them. Sun, moon, rising sun. Your cards feel perfect. Well, that's interesting. This should be a good reading, I'm feeling like. Oh, wow, I'm so sorry. So, um, Libra. I'm using the Eight Coins Tattoo. Sorry, the camera's closer. Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot deck for you guys. And I'm also going to pull you by Colette Baron reed Love her. Wisdom of the House of Night. And Libra, you know, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go. Links to everything that you guys need right below the video in the description box. Facebook Live, I am there three times a week. Two to three. And we have a lot of fun. We're winning, they're winning tarot decks. Wednesday, your weekly general reading. Sorry, you guys are all in my second sign. I'll figure out where the card's got to go. Okay, perfect. Nine of Wands is the overall energy. At the bottom. Uh, four of Pentacles. Right, let me get your Oracle card as well. Um, yeah, these ones. House of the Wisdom of Night. of pentacles, the two, wow, two, two, and the ten of cups, okay, but 
interestingly enough, right, I'm going to keep them because they're at the, you know, they're at the bottom of the deck. But I am going to definitely, um, I need to clarify this, um, <coughs> this Nine of Wands. I think, really, for your guys' sake and for mine, yeah, we need to do that. But I'm going to leave those cards at the bottom over here. But I need another card on this Nine of Wands, and I just feel like I need to clarify it. It's just opposed to pulling the, the next card. Definitely this one. Okay. Interesting, Libra. There was a reason I did it like that. Because it is the Queen of Swords. That is so interesting. But I say it all the time. Some things are meant to be. And that's definitely apparent in this reading. Okay. Libra. So with the Four of Pentacles, no doubt, some of you could be holding back your thoughts, your feelings. You know, it is a conservative energy focused on saving your money over the next two weeks. It is generally a card of control. I really feel like saying, you know, some of you need to let go of something. You, have, you need something to... Look at this. Look at this temperance card. And I'm get, I know I'm getting ahead of myself. Look at this temperance card in this deck. You need to... I don't even know what's the word I want to use, honestly. But I will figure it out. I promise. You just, some of you definitely need to let something go. You have, you know. The Six of Pentacles, wow, the Two of Pentacles, interesting. The Two of Swords. I really didn't look at these cards. I did see the Two of Cups. And then the Ten of Cups. All in a row, we all in a row, Libra. Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles. It's exactly how they were. Two of Swords, which is probably all still going on now, because even in a private reading, I look at the bottom three just to see kind of where you're at. So, Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, and I will throw tell you this wow and the lover's card i could just keep going here this is insane the king of wands he's got some passion and the lover's card sign of gemini okay maybe you're juggling we'll get to that because there are there are twos here. So I, I, obviously for for a lot of you, this is around a relationship, a partnership, if not romantic, it can be it's a general reading guys. you can I mean it could be it could be a partnership, a business partnership as well. But I feel like with the Two of Pentacles in this particular deck, you're changing your mind a lot. I do. You know, and, and 
How do I want to say this? Or again, I, you maybe need to let something go. Balance your thoughts and give it to God. Give it to God. God, Spirit, whatever it is for you. You need to let it go. second okay definitely needing definitely needing to balance your thoughts you know obviously for some of you Even the Ten of Pentacles was under there. You know, you guys definitely, this could, this could even be a family matter, a business matter as well. But whatever it is, you're changing your mind a lot. You know, the Two of Pentacles, or again, you need to let go of something. Balance your thoughts and give it to God. I am getting that. I, I, I've never said that before. And balance does seem to be very important. If not you, Libra, someone else. Balancing thoughts, emotions. Those of you that, you know, maybe need to make a decision. Definitely spending time with friends, family. Someone that you trust. Because your overall energy, it is it is the nine of wands, and I mean, just just look at this person, got male or female, it doesn't matter. This person is exhausted physically, mentally, emotionally exhausted, completely drained. This person has gone through the ringer, Libra. Absolutely. The ringer. Especially in this deck. But again. Not giving up. Not, ba not backing da down. It is a card of perseverance. But I do feel for some of you. That, that are exhausted. You need to let go. And just really let. Really. The universe. Spirit guide you this is important and I swear to God I just did Virgo's reading and they have this card too and I guys I shuffle even before and pray over and you know and believe it or not I sage after the nice if I was in front of the camera I sage literally after every reading I run it I'm going to switch up decks here soon. It happens all the time. And that's why I say watching your other signs are important. If you have Virgo in your chart, you want to watch that. They had the Six of Pentacles. And the Hangman, ironically. You need to let go and, and let something guide you because you're exhausted. Some of you need to release control. Others of you may be needing to really release something to God. I know I keep saying that. Release something to God and what's meant, what's meant to be will be for some of you. Not all of you, but those of you in particular that are absolutely feeling 
totally exhausted and drained, not giving up. So in particular for you Libras that are totally exhausted, this is concerning a relationship, in particular you fail females, you know, what's clarifying you is the Queen of Swords. So, and others of you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I do feel like this is really your guys' energy just absolutely and completely 100% exhausted. I do see that. And I also see some of you really using your sword. That's it. Cutting ties from what's no longer serving you. Because with the Four of Cups here, and you're crying, you're not happy. You're just not happy. Emotionally not satisfied. What's interesting, though, is the Ace of Cups is sitting next to this. Like, look at this. This card is absolutely beautiful. I feel like you're being offered new love. Really. Or a reconciliation. Someone misses you. You miss them. Something. Look at this combination. Okay, th this is this is tears. It is black tears. I'm just saying. So it's probably a woman wearing makeup. Just saying. But I do feel like you're being offered a new love. Or even a reconciliation. Yeah, can't even speak. I'm speak here. Even a reconciliation, like being offered this beautiful cup and I mean, that's one hell of a beautiful cup there, Pi or Libra, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy here, and you might not, you just might not want it. It is very interesting. Listen, it's meant to be though. With the hangman, you got some spiritual energy here, but like a like a lot. But you know, so maybe you're just you know, you know, you're hanging in there, fighting for something because you want more. I feel like you just don't want to give up on a relationship for some of you. Ace of Cups, you know, definitely could be working it out. And for some of you with Temperance, you could be working it out. Ace of Cups and Temperance. This is definitely you, you working it out. That's it. I see it that way. I mean, you're trying to make it work. No, but still for some of you with the Four of Cups, unfortunately, it just might not be enough. That's why I feel like for some of you, you know, give it to God. And again, you know, temperance is also a very spiritual energy. You know, she is your guardian angel, you know, guiding you, protecting you on the path that you're meant to be on. Like the eye of spirit is guiding you. And like I said, you know, the hangman too is definitely a spiritual energy. Maybe some of you do need to go off, spend some time alone, look at your options as far as what it is you can, you know, do about things now. What you could do next. 
that needing to look at your choices, options, you know, and if that, you know, if that's possible and you can, because there is a lot of cups here, there is a lot of emotional energy, energy here. So if you can, needing to disconnect emotionally, take a step back, really look at the larger picture and give it to God the universe, Jesus, higher forces, whatever it is for you. And really, truly believe in it and just see what happens. I think you need to see things from a different perspective surrounding an ending because you also do have death. An ending. You know, you letting go of something. You know, guys, but if that's, you know, if that's the case with, with, with death, you know, you're creating the space for new beginning to come in. Something new to come in. And I really feel like I'm reading for Libras that you're really trying to make something work and that's why you have the nine of wands the hangman temperance death temperance is actually mirroring death something is finishing up here and you're trying to make it work this is absolutely definitely for some of you and it is a partnership If it's not romantic, sure, it could be a friendship, business partnership. I'm definitely reading for Libras that I really feel like you are trying to make a relationship work. That is my strongest feeling. And then for others of you, you know, because it's not going to be always around a relationship for all of you. I mean, this Ace of Cups is just a beautiful new beginning that's coming in. Some of you definitely could be being offered something over the next two weeks. Actually, the first week. Yeah. You know, with the Four of Cups, the Ace of Cups, you're, you're going to make a decision about, about this. You know, again, remember, you also have the Six of Pentacles. So, with the Two of Pentacles under the deck, you know, which is some kind of help coming in for you. With the Two of Pentacles, I feel like you know, you are going to have to, to weigh the options, make a decision. You know, you absolutely have something being offered to you. And you definitely have waited a very long time, maybe even for this. So for those of you, it's that if it's in a new home, a new job, it is something really that's just going to make your heart very, very happy. You emotionally very happy. I mean, so much happiness, joy, contentment. And I do feel like the first week, maybe you are going to have to spend time alone. Look at options because, you know, this Ace of Cups is a blessing no matter what. How, how No matter how you resonate. It is going to bring in great happiness and joy no matter what. You know, right now, you know, it might not feel like that. Or right now, it might not feel like that's what you want. Because you are going to get this early. But, you know, listen, before you go turning this down, I do feel strongly 
Weaver, that you need to take an, a, a closer look at this. I mean, I really do suggest you go out, spend some time alone, and think about it and really look at it. Deeply, deeply look at this. Like, please, don't turn down, you know, this, this, this beautiful new blessing that's coming in for you. You know, I really do think you need to give something up for this to come in for some of you. I really do. Because you do also, not just the death card, the ten of swords. But guys, listen, this 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 is definitely just these two cards alone is it is it an ending. I mean. I mean, it's a, thank God it's a difficult cycle is completing, you know, and with the temperance here, you're definitely healing from this Ten of Swords energy. Look at the hands here, too. I'm telling you, some of you do need to let something go to God give it to God give it to spirit I, I know I tell I never say that but um, I am that does come through heart a lot like very heartfelt you could be dealing with a Scorpio cancer Pisces But the King of Cups, definitely. You know, with the Death card, it definitely, sitting right next to each other, it definitely could be a Scorpio that's involved. And again, more patient energy with strength. You know, or this Scorpio has Leo in their jar or vice versa. But, I, you know... I think you definitely had to be strong, patient, especially with temperance. Definitely very strong, very patient, having to wait. Being calm, patient, and then, you know, stepping up and having the determination and courage when the time comes, because you do look ready. And you look fabulous at it, too, I must say. It is another card, just like the Four of Pentacles at the bottom here, that represents control. I know my shirt keeps hitting these cards, and they're like moving all over. I'm sorry. Um, tis the season. You know... Most likely calm and patient with someone. And I, I really feel like it's most likely a Scorpio. It really could be that they're offering you something. It might not be maybe exactly what you're hoping for. Like let's say. It's your birthday. It's coming. It is coming. We'll use that as an example. Maybe you were hoping on a ring. It, but it didn't happen. It doesn't mean it's not love or you're feeling emotionally sad. For some of you, it might just be that. And I took, took that off the top of my head. It is birthday time. It doesn't mean it's not a blessing. You just could be emotionally sad over... Something maybe some of you have to compromise, you know, maybe there's No doubt, you know, there, there is no doubt you're leaving this difficult cycle behind Some of you know the ten of swords the strength sure you you absolutely went through something But I think really it has made you stronger so much stronger especially with this nine of wands strength Definitely interesting reading. 
definitely interesting reading. Again, please, you know, watch your other signs if this didn't resonate. Definitely for a select number of you that needed to hear this. Wow. Um, that's the front of the cards if I didn't show you. Cycles. You're definitely... A difficult cycle is definitely completing. Wow, what a card. The end of a tough cycle. I mean, you know... You have the Ten of Swords. Difficult time is absolutely completing with the Strength card. I just feel so strongly that it's absolutely, no doubt, making you stronger. So much more wiser. No doubt. No doubt about it. And, you know, this really is a beautiful confirmation cycles it's been a difficult one but you are overcoming them and really i think really moving towards right towards this beautiful blessed new beginning that really whenever i see doves and because you have so much spiritual energy here to begin with libra really i mean come on Definitely this is spiritually meant. And right under temperance. Jeez, how could I miss that? Almost. Let's see, I have spirit. Blessing this Ace of Cups. Cards come out like this for a reading. Come on, you can't make this shit up. That's amazing. It's amazingly beautiful. Guys, if you follow me on Facebook Live, I'll see you there Sunday Fun Day. Um, like I said, we're winning tarot decks. It's amazing. It's so much fun. Wednesday, your weekly general reading. And, uh, you know, some other fun stuff. It's usually like two hours. We have so much fun. It goes by so, so fast. But those of you that don't, I will see you back here for... What? Your monthly, your monthly general reading. All right, Libra, happy birthday. Absolutely love you guys. Take care. Bye.